everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. We're coming back at you with another Wish video. Uh, yes, I have heard you loud and clear. People do seem to love the Wish videos. It's a combination of loving the random things, but also hoping to see some terrible and disastrous fails. That does happen to me a lot when I order on Wish, but sometimes I'm really, really surprised by what I receive. So today's order is a really random, eclectic mix of things. I have some really interesting stuff. Basically what had happened was I was just browsing through the homepage, as you do, you get suggested items that are sort of based off your search. Thanks, Archie. You get recommended items usually based off your search history, so if you've been searching for chunky knit throws, for example, which I had been, then you're going to get recommended a chunky knit throw. Uh, some other people get recommended some very unusual things. I don't want to know what they've been searching. So without further ado, let's have a look at all this random stuff that Wish recommended to me and let's try and figure out maybe why they recommended it to me. Now price-wise for these items, I'm going to tell you the price that it's advertised at, then the amount that I paid for shipping, and then the total. What you have to remember when you shop on Wish is that the price that they're advertising to you is the price that you're gonna end up paying. If something's free, you're gonna pay shipping. So you gotta to think to yourself, yeah, sure, the item's free. That's just a clever marketing term. Nothing's free in this world. You gotta remember that maybe you're gonna be charged four, five, ten dollars shipping, sometimes even four hundred dollars shipping. Yes, yes, I have seen that. That is a thing. Buyer beware. So this first item is Game of Thrones related. Rest in peace. Now, I was probably recommended this because I was searching for Game of Thrones things. You know, mostly I was Googling reasons why they f***ed up so badly on that ending. I was also Googling the petition to redo Game of Thrones season eight. So I'm not surprised that I was recommended something Game of Thrones related. This is a t-shirt. Now this t-shirt was advertised as $13 and then it was $9 shipping. So this came to a total of $22. As an avid lover of Pokemon myself and once upon a time Game of Thrones. I was very happy to see this t-shirt. This is Jon Snow and Daenerys having a battle. It says, Jon Snow wants to fight. And it's got Daenerys there surrounded by dragons, which do kind of look like a whole bunch of uh, Charizards. And then there's Jon up the back there. Right off the bat, feeling this t-shirt, this feels so good. I am so surprised that this is from Wish. I have bought some pretty terrible t-shirts from Wish that felt like rubbish quality. Guys, this, this feels Really, 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 really good. I cannot stress that enough. Now, I ordered this in a 2XL because as you might know, Asian sizing often runs small and I didn't want it to be a little tiny baby t-shirt. So, uh, you know what? $22 when I first read that. I mean, $13, the advertised price, definitely worth it. $22, that includes the shipping. Definitely, definitely worth it. This is amazing. Let's try it on. This is super super stretchy. I'm kind of regretting getting the 2XL because it's really baggy and I mean obviously I should have expected that but now that I'm looking at it I'm like this is an epic t-shirt. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot. I do kind of wish that I got it closer to my own size but tucked into jeans this will be so nice. I can't believe how comfy this is. I am shaken to my core. This t-shirt is better than the ending of Game of Thrones. That's not very hard. Everything's better than the ending of Game of Thrones. So there it is. It's, whoop, hello. Mother of birds coming at you. Now, the only thing I want to say about this shirt, oh, hang on. <laughs> now I learned my lesson in one of my other Wish videos where I bought a sweater that had a little Pikachu cartoon on it and a whole bunch of people let me know that it was actually a stolen design from an independent artist. Now, I don't know the origin of this Jon Snow fighting Daenerys artwork. I did some Googling to try and find the original creator, but so many websites were selling this, it's hard to exactly pin it down. So if you know who the original creator of this is, please leave a comment below so I can leave a link to the actual product, because this is definitely stolen artwork. I don't think there's any original piece of work on Wish. I think it's all stolen. This next item is, I'm expecting this to be a disaster. This is a floor rug. Now this was $49 advertised with $17 shipping. So I ended up paying $66, which I think is 
possibly the most I've ever paid for an item on Wish. There's not a hell of a lot on Wish that's over 20. There's not a huge amount of stuff on Wish that's over 20 or $30, so uh, I can't believe that I spent that much money not knowing exactly what it's gonna turn out like. <gasps> okay, now this was advertised to me because we've uh, recently done a whole bunch of redecorating and I was looking for some white rugs for our lounge room, so no surprises that they've advertised a rug to me. It's soft. It's really, really soft. I'm shaken to my core. Oh, wow. This rug is supposed to be 160 centimeters by 230. So 1.6 meters by 2.3. I'm really surprised by how soft it is. It's kind of an off-white, it's more of a cream. Okay, it's really unusual, it's actually padded. It's actually squishy. Like it feels like there's padding in between the furry part and the base. Oh, uh, okay, I actually, I think this actually might be two meters wide. This is huge. This is, this is massive. Okay, I'm really surprised. I'm gonna have to take this out. <coughs> oh, there's a lot of fur floating around. <laughs> I'm gonna take this rug out into the lounge room, but just looking at it here, I'm so surprised. This is so soft. I'm really happy with the first two items from this video. This is so soft, what the heck? I could get lost in this. I could just space out and just pat this thing all day. Next up is an item that I'm very, very concerned about. This was definitely advertised to me based on my search history because I had been looking at buying one of these, but the one that I was looking at buying was $539. <gasps> oh my God, it actually, it doesn't look too bad. Can you guys, can you, can you see that? Can you guess what that is? Oh my goodness. This is a chunky knit throw. Okay, I'm surprised. I'm definitely surprised. So this was advertised as $65 with $17 shipping. So it came to $82 in total, which is huge. I can't believe that I spent that much money and it could potentially have been disastrous because I have seen some terrible fails when it comes to these chunky knit throws. They show you this beautiful picture of this luscious chunky knit and then it turns up and it's, it's definitely not chunky. It's not thick. It's a skinny legend, I guess you'd say. This is still not as chunky as the one in the pictures. I will give you an expectation reality shot, but it's very soft. I'm so surprised. Look at that. This is supposed to be 120 by 150. Now, the one that I was looking at was on a website called Nickel and Co. And they sell a pink chunky throw that's 850 by 1250 for $539. It is handmade in Australia though, from 100% Australian wool. I don't think that this is wool. I don't think that you would get this much wool for $82. It's probably some sort of synthetic, but it's so soft. Oh, I'm so happy right now. You know, this is weird. I was low key hoping that this would be a disaster because it would have made for a funny thumbnail with like the expectation reality shot, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I should be happy that I'm so happy. I shouldn't be sad that I'm so happy. If I saw this in a store for $82, I would definitely, definitely pay that for it. It's so beautiful and it's so soft and the color, the pink color is like cotton candy pink. This is huge. It's so cozy. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay, next up I bought some fairy lights. Now these were definitely advertised to me because I was looking to buy some for our wedding. We strung up a huge canopy of fairy lights in the marquee at our wedding and I had been Googling fairy lights and I ended up buying some from Bunnings. Now the ones that I got from Bunnings were five meters long. They were the type that plugs in and they have a remote control. These are solar lights. So I'm probably not gonna be able to show you how they work just yet. Oh no. I should have known from the size of the box. I really, I really should have known. That's not what I expected in any way at all. 
This is the expectation photo. Look at that photo and tell me how big you think these things are meant to be. Right when I was so happy with my first three purchases, that had to happen. What do you think of these? These are Archie sized fairy lights. So there's a big solar block here with a button on the back for on and off. Obviously they're not turning on, so these need to absorb some sunlight. So I'll put these outside. These were $17 with $10 shipping. So I paid 27 all up for these. Now the lights that I got from Bunnings were $50. You can plug them in. They're a decent size, they are the actual size that I was expecting. If you buy from an actual store, you might pay a bit more, but at least you're gonna get what you're expecting to buy. This is such a disappointment. I mean, they are really, really cute, but I would never have spent $27 on these. I feel like I could have got these from like a dollar store or something for $10. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. What? They just turned on, what? I swear, every time I put them on the ground, they turn on. I'm not, I'm not crazy. I think that if you cover the solar panel... <gasps> okay, they work. <laughs> they won't work if you chew on them. Next up we have some phone cases. Now, this first phone case was $7 with $8 shipping. So I paid $15 for something that looks suspiciously like Gravity Falls. Okay, so here it is. This is so cute. I'm really, really impressed. This little star here is squishy. It's full of little shiny stars. This is a very heavy phone case. It almost feels as heavy as my phone. You are a good boy. What's wrong? can't get the case on. Okay, there we go. It's on. And ladies and gentlemen, it is adorable. Look at that. Is that not just the cutest phone case you've ever seen in your life? Look at how the little stars move. Oh, what do you think? Do you like it? It is very bulky. It makes the phone very, very thick. I don't know how practical this is, to be honest. I don't know if I'm gonna use this very often. This is great for mirror selfies, I guess, although you're kind of covering the star with, with the mirror selfies. If you do your selfies like an old person, then you can show off the case. I would definitely pay, I'd definitely pay $15. If I walked into a store and saw that, even the white part of the case has little tiny flecks of glitter in it, it's adorable. My only concern, and this comes as a, a big warning to you guys, people have told me that you've got to be careful about Chinese phone cases that have liquid inside them. Apparently the liquid can be quite dangerous. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's not water. It's, uh, I have no idea what it's meant to be, but this is like a very, very soft, silicony, rubbery plastic. And if you had little kids and they chewed on that and they ingested that, you don't know what could happen to them. So you just have to be really careful. So maybe be responsible and don't go buying these sort of phone cases when you have children around, says the lady that has a child here that wants to chew on absolutely everything. Next phone case. Now this one was $7 with $7 shipping, so $14. And it is not, not, not what I thought it was gonna be. Oh dear, oh dear. What the hell? There's supposed to be this little tassel that hangs off it, but the tassel is actually caught up in the crystals up here. And I'm worried that if I try and pull the tassel out, I will break one of the crystals off the phone case. I know you want to, but you're not allowed to. Okay, I have freed the tassels. So here it is. In the expectation photo, this literally looks like one of Jeffree Star's fingernails. This looks like 
a DIY project, I could easily make a phone case like this with some little craft supplies that I have lying around. Okay, it's a very tight fit. It is almost not fitting. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's still pretty, don't get me wrong, but if I saw that in a store, I wouldn't pay $14 for it because I would be like, ah, I can do that myself. I literally have little gems like this lying around in a drawer. So yeah, I would give this one a pass. <laughs> And the last phone case, now I didn't realize this at the time that I bought it, but I have since been made aware that this is indeed a knockoff from a store called Valfrey. Now this is really cool, I must say. I do love the look of this. This is a silicon phone case. Now on the Valfrey website, I've had a look and this phone case is $38. This was advertised as five with $6 shipping. So $11 for this cool phone case, but Oh, I just, I just noticed it says Valfi on the bottom, not Valfrey, Valfi. I would be interested to know if the original phone case from Valfrey feels better than this, because this feels really good. It feels like a, a quality phone case. Definitely worth the money. I love that it's pink. The Valfrey one is black. I love comical silicon cases. They do make your phone a fair bit bigger. It's actually kind of a satisfying shape. I do like it. Tell me if you've bought a phone case from Valfrey before and let me know what the quality is like, because this feels really good. I can't imagine how you'd improve on this. What do you think of this? No, Archie, don't! Now this next item was definitely recommended to me because as a YouTuber and a photographer I'm constantly searching for camera equipment and ring lights and studio lights and things like that. This is a little ring light that clips on your phone. Now I don't know if this has any batteries. This was advertised as $3 with $4 shipping. So $7, if this works, then I'm gonna say that it's worth it. Oh, good, it's got no batteries. Excellent. Okay guys, it's been a few days. Batteries are in. You can see the little ring light here in the mirror. So it's got three settings. So we'll go regular. It's very bright. Even the lowest setting is super, super bright. Medium and intense, very, very intense. So in the expectation photo, I think the point is that she's in a dark place, like a beauty guru, because the background is black. So I'm gonna go into the bathroom here and close the door. Okay, no windows in here. And you can see it's lighting everything up. It's lighting me up really, really bright. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take some pictures for the expectation. Gee, my hair even looks really like, really weirdly light in this. Oh my God. Okay, anyway, that's enough. That's enough of that. As you can see, it works. This next item was expensive, but I'm hoping that it's gonna be worth every cent. This is, this is a Pokeball and it's a phone charger. Do you guys ever do this where you say to yourself, wow, this would be so much easier if I just got some scissors. You could just stand up and go get some scissors. But because you can't be bothered to stand up and go get scissors, which would probably only take you a solid five seconds, instead you spend 10 minutes trying to peel the sticky tape off with your fingernails. This is so satisfying. The size of this, it's literally the perfect size. So in the back here, there's a USB slot and then there's, uh, oh, there's, there's two USB slots and then there's one input so you can charge it. What do you reckon? I don't know if that's a button. Oh, oh, that's a button, huh. This would be the cord that you use to plug it into the wall to put some charge into it. That's what it looks like all the way around. It's really heavy, it's really, really solid. Now this is advertised as $29 with $7 shipping, so $36. Now if this actually works, I'm gonna be very impressed. Okay, moment of truth. Are we ready? We have charge, ladies and gentlemen. The Pokeball works, great success. That's epic! Oh my god! I feel like I've just found the coolest thing on Wish. 
<laughs> this is so cool. This is worth every single cent. Wow. <laughs> Next up, we have a little bit of we have a little bit of stationery here. Now, I picked up some pens. These were seven dollars with seven dollars shipping. That's fourteen dollars for six pens. What was I thinking? Okay, let's see if this works. I'm just going to write on this package. Okay, well that one doesn't work. Good thing there's five more. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. That one doesn't work either. And that one doesn't work. Right. Good. Okay, I'm sure that if I play around with these and, uh, I don't know, shake them and really run them on paper a lot, maybe they will start to work. But for now, nothing's coming out of them. I have bought stationery from Wish before. I did do a Wish back to school haul a little while ago and the stationery that came out of that was great. So uh, it's probably just cause they've been sitting in there unused in that bag for the past two months since I ordered them. So uh, I'll give them a try later and put in some footage and show you if it actually works. Next up, this is completely random. I have no idea why this was advertised to me, but I bought them because they looked really cute and I figured I could keep stuff in them on my makeup vanity. Bye. Well, I'm not going anywhere. So these are little toothpick holders. Now I've got a pink one for me and a green one for Archie. Now I figured that these would be solid, but all these little lotus things on the top, they're all completely, that they're not attached to each other. So uh, there's no way to attach it to the little bowl. These were $2 each with $3 shipping. So uh, that's $5 all up and it's definitely not worth $5. Here, look, play with that one. What's in there? Okay, fine, I'll wear it. <laughs> Can't believe I paid ten dollars all up for these two things. Yes, mother's an idiot, but at least she has a cute hat. to the stationery now and I have a binder I guess you would say. Now this was five dollars with five dollars shipping. Look it's green. Do you like it? This is actually surprisingly good. It says enjoy life and it's got a little piggy on it there and it's an adorable little piggy. Archie let go. Mate. So it opens up like this. Wow okay that's actually really cool. I, I completely forgot that it was like that. I thought that it was just like as a piece of plastic folded in half. But now that I see that it's a binder, I do think it's worth $10. Now this came in different designs and colors as well. If you need a cute binder, I would highly recommend this. This is adorable. It feels very well made. You know, I was in Harajuku. I did a Harajuku back to school haul. Stuff like this was probably $15-ish, I would say, in Harajuku. So I think that's worth every cent and it's adorable. And if you like Shane Dawson, then you're gonna love this. This next item, I don't know why this was advertised to me, but just based on the package, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now the pictures of this made this look a lot bigger than what it really is. What is it? 
Thank you. This is a rose gold teaspoon. It's absolutely tiny. This is definitely not the spoon from the pictures. This is an Archie sized spoon, not a Mumba sized spoon. There was a whole bunch of different colors on the website. I obviously picked the rose gold one. Now I only got one because I thought if it's really, really good, I'll get a whole bunch of them so I can keep them in the drawer. But uh, no, it's it's not really, really good. It's It's very small, not what I was expecting. Kind of disappointing. Usually I like the little spoon, but not in this case. This next item, this is <laughs> ridiculous. Any guesses, guys? Do we know what this is? Can anyone guess what this is aside from a giant cherry? This is a toilet brush. I do love the cherry aesthetic. I like to have cherry earrings, cherry handbags, cherry shirts, a cherry sweater. And now when I'm scrubbing the toilet, I can keep to my aesthetic. <laughs> what do you think of this? This was $10 with $7 shipping. So $17. I feel like if this was $10 all up, including shipping, then yes. $17, I mean, it feels really, really cheap. The pictures made it look really nice, but it does feel quite cheap. You know what though? I mean, as far as toilet scrubbers go, normally they're very boring. Normally they're just silver or white. Maybe it's a talking point. Gives you something to look at. What do you think of it? Do you like it? to the stationery now. This little pencil sharpener was $2 with $3 shipping. He's a little tiny poop. I guess this is so your stationery can match your constant mood at school. And last but not least, I have something that I really, really, really hope works but it is from Wish, so you never know. Bless you. This is a lightning to SD card reader. Now on the Apple website, these go for $50. This was $12 with $8 shipping. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but it's supposed to be able to work for iPods, iPhones, and iPads. What you're supposed to be able to do is take the SD card out of your camera and uh, plug it directly into your phone and take the photos off your phone. This is what it looks like. It does look very much like the same one on Apple. What I'm gonna do, I have a DSLR here with an SD card in it. Okay, so I've taken the SD card out. We're putting it in. This is it, moment of truth. I have no idea what's gonna happen. It worked! Look at that! It says import! What? Nanny? <whistles> Guys, it worked! I don't believe it! I don't believe it worked! Wow! Why spend $50 at Apple when you could spend $20 on Wish? Okay, I didn't import all of them. Hang on. It's not importing all of them. There's five of the pictures, but four of them aren't there. So I have no idea why. It looks like it kind of works, but not quite. <laughs> so that's it guys, that's everything. I know this was a very random video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what your favorite items were. If you ever have any random products from Wish that you want me to try out before you buy them, just drop them in the comments below and let me know. I'm happy to buy them and review them for you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up on this video. You can follow me on Instagram. It's pretty pastel, please. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!